so I just wanted to go ahead and come on here and um, share something that I made so this right here let me make sure I'm in frame because I'm notorious for not being in frame all right so this right here is a ear saver little doodad I don't know what you call it ear saver thing and so basically you just put it like this I put it like this and this part goes behind your your neckline well that's where I wear it and it feels so much better so what I'm using I thought I would show you because I posted it on Facebook and I know a lot of people are making these and making them with scrunchies but I haven't seen these so I thought well maybe they're out there I don't know if the, there's probably tons of tutorials or you know I don't want this to be an official tutorial because if you notice I don't have a lot of videos so <sighs> I'm out of breath I'm out of breath because um, I do everything in a hurry and then I can't breathe because I probably should be on a diet <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and and let me give you the measurements. So what I did is I cut this at, and I don't even know because I measured it to my head. So let's see. So this is approximately five, let's say five and a five. Well, I have five and a, five and a quarter, but let's say five and a half. Five and a half would be good too. So five and a half inches long, okay? And then for you crafters who have like tons of uh, supplies and stuff like that, like I do, I have tons of buttons that are just like, I mean, I have every color you can think of. So, and these are kind of novelty ones that are in here. Ooh, those are pretty. I found some that I want to use so you can use you know what you have I'm using kind of big ones um, I think these will be really good I want them to I mean if you use a little one you're not gonna have a good latch and then I made a bunch of tie-dye um, a bunch of tie-dye masks so here's what I have and a lot, a lot of these st I still don't have the the ear piece part on them but I also used this and this look made in the USA but this is elastic but it's really cool because it doesn't hurt your ears which it does if you wear it all day which most of us have to wear it all day so, I mean, it feels better, but even with this, it's going to feel so much better. You're not going to mind having it on at all. All right, so let's go ahead and make one of these ear savers. Uh, hopefully. So we picked our, we picked, I'm taking this off, you guys. Um, so... Oh, uh, hold on. I'm I, obviously I can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I posted these on Facebook and I had some people think they're pretty cool and I'll show you. So what I did is, well, I had this idea because I, I went to hold on because I'll get them because I think you can you do hold on. Don't go nowhere. All right, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. 
So my my original idea was this. So I was I was I went to the Dollar Tree. You know, we go to the Dollar Tree. And I thought I'm gonna get a headband, and then I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut this headband and put some buttons on it. That'll be perfect. So I got these headbands. Look at three for a dollar, right? And what I'm gonna do with these, so if you don't even wanna use this stuff, cause I got this at Hobby Lobby right now. Hobby Lobby has 50% off all their ribbon and trim. So it's $2.99, so I paid $1.50. And this has two yards. So you can make a lot of little button grabber thingers, thingies. And I got different colors, cause I thought I have some pink you know, I thought I had pink ones. Uh, yeah, I have pink. That'll look pretty, right? Right? That'll look pretty. And then I got this color, because that'll be pretty with that one. Or even, even better, that one, right? So I got some different colors. But also, because, I don't know, I can't just buy a few things, I guess. I got some of this and I, this one doesn't stretch. Now those are, this from Hobby Lobby is what I got. And this is um uh, the headband. They use this for, to make baby headbands, okay? So that's what it is. Now, when I cut this, it's not gonna fall apart. But if you're worried about that, well, I thought you could just use like some no fray. I have some no fray glue. Um, so you could do that. Or I would even do like hot glue. And if you have those little, you know, put hot glue. And if you put hot glue, it, sorry guys, I'm bad. But if you put hot glue, it should just, you know, hold it down like that. So in case you're worried about it fraying, but it's not going to fray. I don't think so. All right, so these Dollar Tree ones. So these are already sewn, you guys. And these are, so these are six and a half inches when they're together like this, right? So I thought, well, heck, you could just put your buttons on here. Don't even have to cut it. And with one Dollar Tree, uh, one, you get three, right? So you could, and you can make three ear savers from this dollar, from Dollar Tree doing this. And you don't even have to cut it. Or if you wanted to, you could cut it. I don't think it would fray, but you could if you wanted to. Um, I don't see why you, you would need to. It'd be extra, you know, but that gives a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of pull in that. And that will help. And that going behind your ear that's perfect i think i'm gonna make these too so i have so i bought so i bought three packs of those so i can make i can make um nine of these just with this and the cool thing about this and i'll show you right now is these because they go under your neckline right so you can even use black buttons and nobody would even see that in the back of your hair uh, you could use white buttons, but I got, because I know when my kids see these, they're going to want some, and I'm going to have to make them some, because I love them, and I want them to wear their masks. Okay, so, then I got the brown ones, so if you have dyed hair, or red hair, or dark brown hair, you can, you know, you can match your hair. So you have that option. But I thought we could just make one of these together. And I can show you how I did it. With, if I could find all my stuff. Because I got a mess here. Alright, so here is the one I made. And these are cute. They just like, you know, they kind of bunch up, go in your little purse. But you can make a bunch of these, you guys. And those of you who like to sell stuff, if, you, if this is not my original idea, I'm sorry, I, I would put somebody original idea, but if it is, 
then by all means, use my idea. All right, I got the, the dullest scissors. I'll get me my, these are my beautiful gingers. Love these. Beautiful. They were a gift to me a few years back. All right. So then now is the hard part is to thread this needle because I can't see. Literally, you guys, I, I'm going to have to wear two, two pairs of glasses just to get it in the hole. So this shouldn't be a very long video. Um, hopefully you get the gist of it, right? Ah, threading it is the hardest part, I think. Okay, and I think anybody, you don't have to be a sewer to, to do these. Anybody can sew on a button. And also, crap, I just dropped my little piece. Also, yeah. where the hell did it go? Oh, Sorry, guys. Um, way under there. Also, if you don't have any, if you don't have any um, uh, buttons, go through your closet, look for a a shirt. You know, maybe your husband, maybe your boyfriend, whoever, girlfriend, maybe somebody has a shirt they don't want. Don't forget to ask them, you guys. They don't want the shirt that has buttons, you know, an old button-up shirt, and just take some buttons off that, or a coat. Those probably have some big buttons. Just make sure the buttons are big enough for the, your little elastic to grab. Okay, that's that's the... That's the key. Okay, so I hope you guys can see. But I'm just putting it through here. Now it will go through the hole. So you want to hold it and hold it in the back. Alright. Just make sure it doesn't go through the hole. Simple, simple, guys. Simple, simple. Alright. And then don't pull that one real hard. Come back around. Whoa. Hopefully, you can see, come back around, and, and now you can start pulling it, okay? Now I'm kind of pulling it taut there. So, you want to, you want to make sure this button is very secure, because you don't want it popping off, right? And... So I have to wear masks all day long, um, which I'm fine with. I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement with mask wearing. Okay, but what? Uh, it just, it's, it's annoying. I mean, it hurts your ears. It's uncomfortable. So I figured we're gonna have to do this for a while. Okay, and I'm okay with that. But I'm gonna try to make this as comfortable. The, the the most comfortable experience I can. That's how I figure. So these and I saw the I saw the ones on Etsy and they they use you know they put elastic through the fabric and all that. I don't have time for that. I don't have time. I mean I could you know I could make them, but. I, I don't, I don't, I seriously, I don't, I do not have time for that. So I try to do everything as easily and quickly as possible. So you want to make sure, let me make sure I'm under here. You want to make sure that you tie it, you guys, you know, you tie that last one because you don't want this to fall apart. And it kind of, is, it's kind of a pain. Um, all right. So... All right, and then trim. And I'm probably not in frame, you guys, but 
All right, so there's one side, okay? We're gonna do the other side. See how quick? Quick, quick, quick. Easy, easy, easy. It would have taken me like a whole day to do a, fu a few scrunchies, which I don't have time for. You gotta cut them. You gotta, you know, no, 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 no. I don't even have to take out, well, my machine's always on, but I don't have to deal with that. And I wanted to show you guys because I'm threading my needle in case you guys are wondering, where'd she go? She's not on there. But, um, and I'm concentrating, so trying to get this, trying to get this in there. I tell you what, this is the hardest part. If you got bad eyes, and I got really bad eyes, I mean, it's really, this I need uh, one of my grandkids to be here when I do this so they can keep threading my needle because this is the hardest part. So, uh, oh my gosh, hold on. Let me just do this real quick because I'm going to, I have to get this done. I have to. If you guys could see, I have to tell you what, this is just... All right, so I got it, I got it, I got it. But um, what was I saying? See, lost my train of thought. Oh, I just wanna make sure that those of you who do not know how to sew or don't think you can do this, anybody can do this, people. This is so easy, this is easy, you can do this. Anybody can sew, even the dude, okay? Even the dudes out there, you guys can sew a button get an old um so you can sew a button that's all you have to do cut a piece of of that and or go to dollar tree and get you one of those all right and then easy easy So I gave you guys some options, right? You, and you know, the thing is, is since you have elastic um, on the ear things, those are made with elastic, you don't have to use elastic for this part, you guys. It doesn't have to be stretchy. It, it measure your, you know, like especially for kids, just measure their head. All you're doing is putting like a little extender in the back is basically what you're doing. And that makes it more comfortable when your ears have to be, you know, when those, so the ears are not being, uh, are not hurting, you know, on the back from being pulled, right? It, it, it eliminates that pulling. So I also got this. I'll show you guys. I don't know. And this is another option. Okay, so I'm giving you guys several options for these little handy dandy ear saver things. Um, let's see. So you could, so this is like twine. Um, what is this? Burlap, maybe. Oh, twill tape. This is twill tape. All right. So you could use twill tape. And because remember, this part here, once these are on there, this part here stretches. Okay. You don't need both of them stretching. As long as this right here is going to pull this back so it's not hurting your ears so this may need to be like these i only did five inches or five and a half inches remember five and a half inches guys um they may need you may need to use a little bit longer if you're using like a piece of fabric that won't um that will not uh give you know that has no elastic uh but yeah, you don't have to use. I just think it's, I don't know, maybe more comfortable with the elastic. But, and I honestly, you know, I just want it to go in the back and not to hurt. And I don't really care about the cosmetic issue. But they're not bad, you know. They're not, these are not, they don't look bad. All right, so there. We did that one with pink. Okay, 
there you go there you go so i gave you guys some options so we have these are pink i mean we have the the so i made so this is the one i made before so you have the the dollar tree elastic ones where you can just sew your button on there okay just oops whoops 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 again make sure that you have you know a good good size button but it, you could sew a button there and then a button on this side there you have it and you can make you three of them you guys and i think even dollar tree might have buttons i haven't maybe i don't know i don't know if they do but everybody should have some stray buttons around their house Anyways, I hope this helps. I hope you guys are all doing good. And I hope that you guys wear a mask because I think it's important. You may not agree with that, but oh well. I mean, we're all, it's okay to disagree, right? Um, but we're not wearing it for us. We're wearing it for the other people. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are staying safe. And um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.